you can actually look through. Wow. Uh -huh. uh -huh. And Jaren really liked it. And so we did we. broke it. And broke it, but we fixed it. Huh? <laughs> All right, that's fine. I like the story about her crying in the driveway. <laughs> yeah. Did you get that on tape, Jess? No. Oh, I didn't. God. <clears throat> Is there a... No, my, my children exaggerate. Laura's also a big tripper. <laughs> Would you please tell us the laugh? Niagara Falls story? <laughs> please tell us the Niagara Falls story. Please tell us about the look on Marvin's face. Ben, may I have to... Oh, is this one? <laughs> when? Do you know this story, Chase? No, I know. That's oh. a funny story. All right, tell it. I tell think us. I can tell it now. Yeah, you probably okay, can. go ahead. And we were going to Niagara Falls with the kids. I was not born. So I was not included. Yet, was he? No, I think it was just the three older ones. I don't uh, remember. Lord. I was swimming around as sperm. Ben, your sauce is very good, but French, but orange drop is so good it really doesn't need I know. That's true. Anyway, this is very good. Uh, what is when we were the nearing the border, out. Marvin decided to issue Precious orders to the family. Mm -hmm. That when we got there and we were going to be questioned by the immigration officer <laughs> at the Canadian border, that we we're not, none of us in the car were to say one Allowed word. Say it had been a rather noisy trip. And Marv was like, and Marv tense. was a little tense, as <laughs> you would say. A little tense. <laughs> yeah. So he said, I don't want you to say one word. I will talk to the officer. I will answer all the questions. I don't want to hear one peep out of all of you. Any of you. Nothing. Absolutely. Nothing. Zero. <laughs> so we pulled up to the customs officer. And he says, I should, I where were you folks born? <laughs> Cleveland, Ohio. And what? Are, where are you going? And Marvin blanked out. <laughs> <laughs> he thought the officer wanted to know the name of the motel where we were going. The officer couldn't have cared less. And we realized, and Marvin is there with <laughs> <laughs> and. And we're, we will all, of course, have been admonished not to say word one or we'll be dead meat. And we start I mean, they could have said, like, north. Yeah. You know, it didn't matter. <laughs> all what. he did. Yeah. Your fabulous said, country. Finally, after <laughs> sitting there, speechless. Were we laughing? Or we were, oh, upset? we started to laugh. Uh -huh. I mean, <laughs> which was even pissed? worse. It was even was compounding the, the difficulty. And I said, Marvin, the only ones that knows that we're going to Niagara Falls. Oh, Niagara Falls, okay. <laughs> okay, drive on. Well, That's then, good. if you Did think we laugh? laughed hard. Oh, he uh -huh. finally laughed about uh -huh. it. After, I mean, he was so embarrassed, but it was so <laughs> funny that this became a family then, story. Then and I never could tell a story without there laughing. There was the story, oh, just for another, another Marvin story Excuse that came me. to my mind, was... We just got the new, beautifully new curtains in the house. In the morning room. And we were being very, very careful Paramount about house. these new wonderful curtains. So and funny. Dad was going to be demonstrate physics for us and demonstrate how if you will grasp an egg no, exactly no, right. No, 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 no. Wrong. We talked him into it. We decided to <laughs> prove, mm -hmm. make Dad prove then, that if you grab an no, egg. No, no, but the, you kids did it. You, right. That oh, egg was grab it around and grab that egg so hard you, and you can't break it because if you grasp the pressure it really equal, mm -hmm. equal pressure, you really can't do it. Mm -hmm. And so dad in front of the curtain went, oh, whoop, and the egg, whoop, all over the curtain. <laughs> the floor of the curtain. He said, oh, this is great. <laughs> he wasn't too pleased by that. We started laughing. And we started laughing yeah. because it was funny. <laughs> then we got, we had brunch, and my dad, <laughs> my dad is not a person who was a real animal type person. Oh, I had, had to animals. beg for nine years before they had ever buy me a dog, and finally they got me a dog. And so this dog, well, he was Jumpy getting house trained, and Don't get basically to had an, an accident, or didn't have an accident <laughs> in his point of view, right under my dad's chair. And oh, we yes. didn't notice. Like, it must have been there, and then we came in for brunch and sat down. <laughs> and so we ate brunch. It didn't smell or anything like that. And we made it through a whole bunch, and I didn't notice anything until near the end of the brunch. All of a sudden, somebody looked over and saw what was under Dad's <laughs> chair. And said, Mom, mm. and it's, oh, let's go in the other room. Let's have, have coffee. Coffee in the other room. <laughs> let's go in there. Okay. And he never noticed. <laughs> we all sweated it out. <laughs> Then there was the time that Beth, Beth <laughs> not time number one, but time number two, and this was this light habit. Poor Beth, there's a light. Do, do Ben, little Ben. Let bathtubs overflow. And I was upstairs with Henry sitting in the, the um, TV room or library. 
TV room actually is what it was. <laughs> um, and I looked down at the lamp that was in the front hallway and water was pouring out the lamp in the front hallway. And I said, Henry, does it rain inside ever? And he said, why? And I said, look downstairs. And we said, shit. And so basically it had Mom flooded. and dad were out it had, time. Mom and dad were out. It flooded the whole ceiling. We spent basically the whole day cleaning up the mess <laughs> oh, that was there. And mom and dad got home. And it was, I don't know how we distracted them for a while to look down. But then somehow we mom. were dumb enough to let mom get along with Sue, <laughs> which was a bad idea. <laughs> and she cornered her and said, oh, by the way, what did you guys, what you guys do all day? And, and not like, well, we just hung out, we watched TV, we played, we played in the yard, mm. nothing innocuous. It was, well, we uh. cleaned up the mess that Beth made. <laughs> and so we looked up and it was, and uh, it's still, there was still water. How did you ever tell Dad? Well, I, I didn't. Again? <laughs> I didn't. I don't know you why never I told that problem. The, the ceilings turn yellow and brown. I well, did not know this. Rain damage. Right. There was still like little beads of water forming on the ceiling. I said, get the towels. Quick, each time up. I remember the time when I was in bed with someone. I beg your pardon? This is funny. You probably don't remember this. No, this shouldn't be on tape. Wait, what? Probably don't remember this. I should put this on tape. It's a terrible thing. Okay, how about another story? You yeah. got another story in you, Sue? Uh, I'll tell it. When you drop it, I'll tell it. I don't want this one on tape. I won't pick up one anyway. My dad came home and I was in bed with Doug in your bed and you go, Susan, where are you? And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> we left a tramp, but the hysterical thing is it was your color TV set. No! Yeah. yeah, it was your color TV set and we ran it back into my room and left a whole trail of magazines. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, your father's in the driveway. <laughs> that was a nice story. Mm. That's not a good girl. Right. Martin wanted to meet his little virgin daughter. <laughs> well, he was very good when he knew I was going to go to birth control. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no choice. <laughs> <laughs> I said you want her to get pregnant? Other fathers would. What? I mean, other fathers would have shit fit. True. And oh, no. was very good. Of course he was. <laughs> I agree he had to, but he can make it. No, I'm sorry. So could you have. But my children never understood I said, Mom. And I could tell from the tone of her voice. You just spent them saying, Mom. And, that's right. What? And I said, Okay. No, it's kind of like, We'll go Mom? see Dr. St. Clair. Oh. No. Mom. And then. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is what my mother did. I'll tell you my story. And Susie came to me. I and asked she said, my mother. Mom. And I said, Okay, we'll go to you Kaiser. Know, you said, Dr. St. Clair. You did not. You know what you did? Why did I do? I asked you. I told you that I was ready to come in birth control. And, uh, the, yes, right, but I wanted to, you know. The and, pill. Right. The pill. pill. The pill. We never referred to it as birth control. Okay. See, it wasn't controlling birth, it was the pill. Oh, the pill. pill. So anyway, the story is, you said, well, talk about when your sister gets home from college. And I said, okay, that sounds reasonable. Then Beth came home from college. <laughs> and somehow, we just never got around to the subject. I was like, Mom, can we talk about yeah. it now? She goes, well, in a week or two. <laughs> Then we, yes, it is. Then we went to Rockport. No, yes, it is. Listen to me. And you said, I said, I said, Mother, now let's talk about me going on the pill. And you said, well, Susie, I'm really concerned. I remember this. You cannot tell me this isn't how, what, how it happened. You said, she embellishes. I don't. You said, I'm really worried because you said you're young and I'm concerned that you won't get, you know, you won't, it's going to be a lot more than you really, than it is. You know what I'm saying? You can't say it. I don't know. Your expectations are going to be a lot more than what it really is. And Mom was concerned about that. She's also concerned about my age and that I would use it as it's meant to be. Judiciously. Yes. So I said, well, I've already done it. <laughs> <laughs> Which, of course, a mother knew. Of course. Uh, can the only once. Only it. once. While you guys went to Rockport. <laughs> <laughs> The and truth then, comes out. Who's in my bed? In your bed? In my bed, yes. But you were very sweet about it. I mean, so was Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at the time, in fact, Dad came home with no problem. <laughs> oh, so what else is new? Anything happened in the news today? It's <laughs> a hard conversation, anyway. I don't know why I discuss it. I hope that's not on tape, and I hope we can edit. But then, once, Marvin was really mad at Susie. Beth and poor Henry walked into oh. the room <laughs> and punished <laughs> because he came in. Walked into the dining room. 
<laughs> he was just holding on stand in the corner. Can't have that a thing. It just wandered into the dining room. And I think as a result, he picked off the wallpaper in that corner, didn't he? Yeah, I remember. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, really? We're standing the in the corner, so I just started pulling around the wallpaper. I could not ever talk to my parents. Any time approaching April 15th, <laughs> they would get this flood of paper gone in the dining room. And if I came anywhere, usually in the house was bad, but if I came anywhere near, you know, we were doing Texas, you know, I couldn't say, like, excuse me, there's a fire. It didn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> then I am Cairo. And I used to set fires to a lot of stuff. No, I didn't. Unfortunately. Yes, I did. I set fires to a big. Um, tennis balls. Well, tennis balls, that was. Don't bring that up. Susie hates <laughs> you for that. <laughs> Sorry. Those were experiments, you yeah. know. No. And that's because you were in the fun charge. one. We built a big mm -hmm. castle out of Ohio blue tip matches. Mm -hmm. In on the, the brand new outside on the back porch with the, the brand, brand new, new um, green astroturf. Green <laughs> <laughs> that was a good idea. And so we lit it, oh, and down. wow, it was cool. And, woof, and then it fell over onto the, and then it was dark, and then and then Dad came home, and then it was morning, and then we <laughs> came out and said, "Bam!" And with my friend Ben, <laughs> came down. What's this? Well, <laughs> then we decided to. Bur See what would happen if we burnt a pillow. <laughs> burnt a pillow. <laughs> we're bored. We come home from school and set things on fire. You know, <laughs> typical hobby. And we so we took a pillow and we took lighter I fluid never did and this. on the pillow and then lit it <laughs> and then it, whoa really burned what until kind of it got to be feathers. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I guess feathers, feathers don't, don't burn. burn. Yeah. They well, will not burn. They so it's this big they, pile they of feathers they. sitting in there. Didn't absorb. We scooped, stirred all. We put everything on, and it wouldn't. And so we had this huge pile of feathers. So we decided, okay, let's spread them. Okay, Around, we so can't have them in a big pile. We'll spread them out. Then nobody. Will. And so we <laughs> ran up and down the neighbor, and it was white. It looked like snow. It was about August. And then so we had a whole big pile left, and we buried them. And we had later that summer this Hungarian gardener who came by and was gardening and then came back to my mom and said, did you kill a goose or bury a goose or something back there? I don't know what you responded, but... Not lately. That's funny. How about, yeah. um... It was Ben Evans. Gee, what would happen if I lit Jad? Oh, my God. Lit Jad? No. no um, we had a big... In, in, like in the black morning room. Dried we had tall like grass racers. or something. With Bill, big, large things. That like decorative. I dry. know. And I Pamela's walked up grass. to it with a match, and I was just curious what would happen. And I touched it with the match. Dumb <laughs> idea. <laughs> and <laughs> woof, it went up so huge. And I was like, oh, my God, the whole set the house on fire. Oh, my God. And then it was out. In a second, it went out. And I was just about to say, ah! And I'm like, stop. <laughs> I was like, is anything, was there a problem? No. I remember being so scared, my heart just, and then it was out, and it was out in a second, just no flames at all, I was scared to shit. You have to realize they came from a heritage yeah, of setting fires. I forgot to tell about the burnt um, thing on the new rug in the kitchen. <laughs> this is another Ben story. This is actually a story I can't smoke, actually another one I can't tell on tape, but. <laughs> Was that that? Yeah, I don't know. I just heard that Jared done more. Tim. <laughs> Mahami. Tim, uh, who was it? Tim Ritter and I, for what, when I was very I young. I assume you sad. Good job. One of my hobbies was to try to grow marijuana. <laughs> and so we got some marijuana plants and typical homegrown marijuana. But that <laughs> and so we ran out of what we had. And so we decided, it's okay, let's see one. if you know, we can do anything with this. Mm -hmm. So we took them and we tried, I think we tried drying it in the oven or something, but that, it didn't work. So we took a glass ashtray on the brand new carpet that had just been installed in the kitchen and took a floodlight and put it on top of the ashtray with the pot in between the light and the ashtray, deciding that the concentrated heat and light will dry it out quickly. So about 20 minutes later, we heard crack. And what it was was the glass yesterday cracking because of the heat, because there was very concentrated uh -huh. heat. 
and under the glass ashtray was this a huge tray? <laughs> this ashtray? Ashtray was this huge black hole. <laughs> huge black. <laughs> like any brand new kitchen carpet. So mom and dad came home and I don't know what I said. Ben I was told them like, the stupidest story. I saw like, like I dropped the light, light bulb, bulb. and it was on. <laughs> and it broke. And they were like, oh yeah, okay. Yeah, he said, I dropped my, my photography light bulb. I don't know what I said. I was on. And they were very hot. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Very right. And, and then, then we had another time. Then when you we had a recarpeted, and, and Ben and, and Steve and walked in with chlorine all over their feet. <laughs> walked in with <laughs> white it was navy blue carpet. We didn't notice at the time. We walked out. It was no problem. Right. But then, like a couple hours later, like footprints appeared. <laughs> white in navy blue carpet. <laughs> what in the hell is on this carpet? We shouldn't have had carpet. <laughs> <laughs> I think mean, Brad was trying that to give me that a That debate message. still rages on, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, just, we were going to say something. Oh, I mean, there's navy blue <laughs> carpet, and I see <sighs> white. And what did you spill in the carpet? Not realizing it was bleached out. <laughs> then it was good uh, when we were still. It was dry. Those. It was dry bleach. I remember when all the furniture and they had on the, the bottom of their feet got mm-hmm. moved out of the house. You could see where the dogs <laughs> got into yeah. the blue rug. Well, all, all that needed was yellow spots with blue rug. How about all that Laurie's needed was move. new carpet. Is what it needed. Yeah. You couldn't use that carpet. How about Lori's move? That's a good story. That's a good story. We decided one day that we were going to move the table. A table. table. Mom wasn't sure how the dining room table was going to look in the dining room. So Mm -hmm. we decided at at like two in the morning that we were going to do Mom a favor. We were going to put the dining room table in the U-Haul. Oh, first. Okay. In the car. We're going to take your very nice, expensive, beautiful old heirloom (laughs) table and bring it over here and put it in the room. And we put it in the VW. What a surprise. So we put it in the. Her, her convertible her somehow mm-hmm. brought it over, set it up, and noticed out. like a huge gouge, <laughs> like a quarter inch gouge that we couldn't like rub out. You know? We were dying. We felt so bad. So we contemplated bringing it back to the house. Yeah, and going, oh, Mrs. Watkins, or something like that. <laughs> Took us off. So, like, yeah, she sure. had to, like, get it replaced. So then, that but weekend. Then, that weekend, we decided we were going to Yeah, let's rent a small truck. A couple things. A small truck, small truck, truck with one things. or two things, and just get the thing started. And what? And, and we started we loading started, the truck. We started, we couldn't stop. And we just started loading <laughs> they the truck. They threw everything in black rubbish. We started loading the truck and we said, Lori, you're moving today. But mom had, hefty bags. She had professional she movers had already right. organized, already mm-hmm. set up for she like had a week to throw or two later. Her whole life. Into hefty, she was taking her drawer and <laughs> throwing them into hefty bags. Her, it must have taken two months to get This poor down. woman. Up oh, two months. Six ben. months. Nine months. Are you straight down there? So my poor mother, and we moved her bed. See, it was gonna be an emotional move. We thought, mm-hmm. move. We yeah. Thought. So we figured, get so, it over with. Moved your bed. She couldn't come. She couldn't go home. Moved her bed so that she couldn't come back to the <laughs> prayer house. And it was so. Fu- oh God, was it funny? Lori was like, what? But, but that was the way to do it. It was a family. We all did it as a family. Bed and dresser. Oh, yeah. oh God. Without taking this the This huge dresser. dresser. Heavy. Heavy as a And then they arms. got it to the bottom after, like, straining down the stairs, like, you know, Brian hurt his back. And, like, they got it bent down there. It was a heavy thing. And then I, yeah, I walk over says, and I have to shake the drawers Oh, these drawers come out like this. Why did you do this? <laughs> we tried, but... <laughs> what else happened that in that movie? Mm-hmm. That was so much it's fun. quick and easy. It was fun. Easy for you. Your move was quick and... He was so. hard. Jared said, "You have a lot of crafty guys." <laughs> <laughs> you told someone. My grandma doesn't live in the Fairmont house anymore. Oh really? Oh really? You tell somebody told me to tell me. Little pictures have big ears. <laughs> and but. Uh, well, the they, they, they were right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the house sale. When you have a house sale with an address on Paramount, people are expecting like either like really <laughs> like nice stuff. Yeah. And people walked in, and basically what we had was shit from the we basement that had sat there for ten years that nobody wanted. We, like, and we decided the house sale. You could, and we and then they had nice stuff, and people bought like. <laughs> A broken, rusty. We had this Lit. juicer, broken, busted juicer. Didn't work. We said it doesn't work. It's broken. Two dollars. You know. Okay, this is missing. We said. So the lady bought it anyway. Then a couple hours later, we found the extra piece. Yeah. And then this one lady walked in, and she she had a bonanza. She, had like a she walked in and bought. Herself. She bought every busted, she out and grabbed every piece broken of crap. piece of junk. Everything. It was like a dollar. Okay. Like yes. a fork. 
Then near the, the end, holder. we were paying people to take books, and some weird people came. Some weird people came by. And my ninth grade, yeah, no, my tenth grade geometry teacher, math kitty teacher, came mm -hmm. by yeah. and found in our book sale my unopened trigonometry book. <laughs> It's like, I noticed there's no notes or right. anything in here. Did you really send it? Yeah. Uh, Mrs. Yeah. Whitmore's house sale. Made a few rest in peace mm. across the street. Was the Maybe kind of house sale they would be expecting at my house. Mm -hmm. That I was mean, the next she, weekend. Oh, it was a beautiful evening, but she had antiques, mm -hmm. and crystal. Well, she was antique. Kind of. <laughs> she so. was an antique. How's Mary Jane speaking of antiques? <laughs> Uh, but I remember coming out one day and my, I had the, I was driving the um, station wagon <clears throat> and Ben had taken a ball of twine that must have been 15,000 miles. Takes off. after him in that yeah. Well, you just and he enjoyed tied. rigging stuff so you could pull and then the door would open and then the next door would open like almost on pulleys. Oh, I wanted to do that. Part about mm -hmm. And I had that all rigged up to the car so when you drove away. Doors open and closed, but yeah, I had the ceiling that when I drove my car away, the whole house was going to come down because he had the house tied up to the car. <laughs> and I didn't realize noise, and I hear, I see, my God, what the hell is going on here? And all the How strings did you started to pop. Strings. All the strings it's started to come. Hmm? Bobby Rosenbaum used to throw Coke bottles off the roof. Bob Rosenbaum? No, you said yeah. something. You used to no, throw Coke Bob bottles? Rosen, we were on the roof and we'd throw them Dr. down. Dr. Rosenbaum's son? Throw them down. He's a journalist. We'd throw them the down. The psychiatrist's son? Throw, <laughs> throw them the, down in the backyard. And we'd pavement. go down and get them, bring them up to the roof, throw them the down. Grass? And not on the pavement, oh, on the grass. Cool. They wouldn't break. What? No, that was different. That was something else. What, 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 what? That was before the pool was built. So then eventually what we did was, is we tied them to strings and threw them down and pulled them up. I don't know. You must get bored when you're a kid. <laughs> Okay, one time, there was this little girl that lived around the corner. She was kind of weird. Um, went over to her house, and she had this great idea. She had, like, a whole attic of playrooms, like, with hundreds of toys. She said, let's throw every toy out the front window. And we did. Oh my God. <laughs> you got to be kidding. Every I'm time. not kidding. No, um, she's turned out kind of weird. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, help her. No, I think wow. she was weird. I don't know. Nice but, like, like, she came over and was like, my brother had a mouse, and she was like, oh, nice mousey, and she killed it. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> One of those charming mm. kids. Huh? No, she had problems. Yeah, yeah I was so nice. We threw every toy. Oh, God. Out the front imagine. window, all over the front lawn. I remember her mother finding out, and I was like, uh, I think I'm going now. <laughs> I was a nice idea. playing with you today, right? Yeah. <laughs> I remember the time when I was like seven or so. <clears throat> Even younger, maybe six, one. These girls down the street tell me they wanted to try smoking cigarettes. Mm -hmm. This is before Mineral Regular was cigarettes. even known. <laughs> and they asked me if I had some matches. This is Lori Coslin and some other person, okay? And this is my little girl remembering this, so it's going to mm -hmm. be a little blown out of proportion. Oh! <laughs> but they asked me if I had some matches, so I said, well, sure. So I went back to her house, and Mom used to keep like a jar full, you know, match boxes. Mm -hmm. I went in there, and I took like 100 so then we went into her mother's car, which was like a Cadillac, one of those old Cadillacs. I don't yeah. know. The windows were all rolled up. And they lit them. I didn't smoke anything. I came home and my mother said, Susan? <laughs> Why is there 10 million matchbacks gone? And you know me, I said, oh. <laughs> I never been. She noticed the matches were gone. Oh. She said, "Why are all these matches gone?" I guess you had asked everyone else, and I told her, and I told her that they had smoked and that I hadn't, and she grounded me. And uh, this is what I remember. Mm -hmm. She grounded me. I tied her. I, cha <laughs> I chained her to the. No. To, oh, I didn't. Chain no, her. not that time. She, right? No, you grounded me to the house for, for life? one month for in life? the summer. <laughs> I was allowed to have friends over, but I was not allowed to go out. The, for a whole Found summer? For, no, one month in the summer. Oh. Now, the funny thing is, is this right? A month? It's possible. Yeah, it was a long That's time. That's a long it time. It was a long time. It was a long time. time. <laughs> to a little girl, it yes, seemed just, like a month. But the funny listen, thing is... Listen, to mother, it seemed like a year. But then, uh, <laughs> Laura, you're right. Being a mother, I now understand that. But I must tell you, the nice part of this story is, I really do feel I was unjustly punished. But the nice part of this story is, that I had really need a long time with you. I really yeah. remember that for that summer. That I thought, hey, this isn't too bad. <laughs> <laughs> and 
<laughs> and then my other story is, is when my mother yelled at me for wearing thongs. I wore thongs, and I was always cutting up my feet. And I swore to her I'd never wear them again. And then they were building severance, and uh, they used to, they were so shitty. They never let us little people run around and look at them building. And we had come out on the mud, and we kind of baited them. I think that was a little part of it. <laughs> but anyway, I was with Henry and Beth, and you know this. Keep the kids on the team, which you know, that's Severn Center. Yeah, yeah, Severn Center. We, we lived yeah. on Shannon. And, and the tractor had Center. left big mud marks and it dried up, and they started chasing us. And I ran and I cut every single toe on my foot. <laughs> and they're ugly to this day. And I walked home. <laughs> <laughs> and I locked myself. <laughs> There they are, Here the they feet are. in Hi. question. <laughs> the toes, the alleged toes. And I went into the bathroom and locked the door, and you went, Susan? And I went, what, Mom? <laughs> what are you doing then? Why is there a check the blood all the way to the door? Why is the door locked? <laughs> oh, I don't know. She <laughs> walked in there and... <gasps> Oh God! I, like so I told you not to wear those. Yeah, those, are, those are, a little of those. I would like a little of those. And the cake comes out. There's hardly any. Yeah, Mrs. Wise. So, just cut it up into five so mm-hmm. that's all right. No, there's plenty there for us all to have. Um, a little slice. Um, what do we say about Mrs. Watkins? She's interesting. First of all, she's <laughs> whenever she's clean. Wherever you were in the house, too, you like, could be in the attic. She could be in the basement, and you hear and off the key. <laughs> <laughs> and she always like when I come home from college, never song, never she'd be tune, vacuuming like at eight in the morning Just to wake me up. <laughs> I used to try to sleep in during college. <laughs> Her set, you know, it didn't matter what. Anyway, oh, and, yeah. and she also is not a very good cleaning woman, but she's very honest and trustful, and she's all right anyway. Um, today, <laughs> this is a good example of today, her and her judgment. A there's a Mrs. Watkins story. Today. today, we come home. Leah's really tired. She's been up a lot and had a big day. And I'm nursing her. And Mrs. Watkins, who used to be known as Margaret. <laughs> used to be what? Yeah, no, known as Margaret. <laughs> Mother <laughs> said you call her Mrs. Watkins. Something happened like the 70s. Jared was calling and, like, her Mr. Black Watkins. Rice. <laughs> She was Margaret, and then like the black. All black of a sudden, writing. she became Mrs. Watkins. Like I came home from college, and all of a sudden, Mrs. Margaret turned. Up. Anyway, same one. Okay, so <laughs> she, she comes in and she goes, "Oh, I didn't realize that you were nursing your daughter." What did she say? I she said I would have. Oh, if I had known you were coming, I would have finished up down right. here. I was being kind of slow today. Right, she said I was being kind of slow today. I would have finished up. I knew you were coming down here. So I said, "Well, it'll only be a couple more minutes. I'm sure she'll be." A- <laughs> And then she goes in the other room. She starts vacuuming. <laughs> she came downstairs and she started vacuuming. Down, she came in and apologized for not being gone. And I said, well, don't worry, Mrs. Watkins. I said, she'll be asleep. She, I said, she won't hear anything. Minutes, we'll Just put her upstairs and, and you can back her out. <laughs> and then I said, I'm coming through. And I said, I'm going to put her up. And she turns the vacuum off. I come racing in the room right now. I'm going to put her up in bed right now. She goes, okay. <laughs> 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 so it, she initially understood it. She goes, I don't want to. Do, she even said, I don't want to disturb the baby. Those words came out of her mouth. So that's thanks, Mrs. Watkins. She doesn't use the greatest judgment, as one can tell. Do you heard the fact that we had a dog that kidnapped her once? <laughs> oh, yes. No, he held her hostage. Held her hostage in your room, wasn't it? Um, in Lori's room, I mean. mm-hmm. Pieces are getting Not funny. Your dog could be very. Thank God there was a phone in there. <laughs> you be frightening. How afraid was well, I? You got the, the Susan was, I was terrified petrified. of that dog. Well, the I, funny wait thing. a minute. Yeah. I had, I had to grab this dog. I got sent home again. She Another take college. The range on home on vacation. They were so petrified of this dog after this. And my mother was. made me go there and rescue Mrs. Watkins, who was then Margaret. <laughs> At that point. <laughs> I go there and Duncan's like. <laughs> His teeth are bared. Bared, and he's at the door. And I don't even like the dog. <laughs> she didn't even like the crazy dog. I loved him when he was a puppy, but something here and there was second to her anyway. He went crazy. I drag this dog and I get him into the yellow VW, and I'm driving down to campus, and I'm so pissed off. And this dog, at and this, this point, dog, I don't know what it was. There was he something was that reacted to black, dark, black, or weird people. Or weird people, just so people, some people he just didn't like. So, anyway, <laughs> you know, just, so I'm down, I'm at campus, and my mother saying she, because I refused, she said, 
I will take Duncan to the vet. So you just bring him down here, right? <laughs> I don't know what you're planning Lori. on doing. I drive <laughs> down there, the and Mom, to, I say, Mom, <laughs> you better be ready to come out. Well, of course, she's not. And I'm this sitting there at the door, and I'm waiting, and it's like <laughs> five minutes, and an Indian student, or ten minutes, or maybe 15, and an Indian student walks by, and Andrew. Duncan the charges. He nearly went through the yeah, back window. He nearly went through the window. I locked the door. I ran to my mother's office. Crying. I was hysterical. Mm -hmm. That but was when I met meet. George Burke. Your friend and ours, George. George, George Burke no, met terrible. me in total hysteria. <laughs> <laughs> and I loved him from the first moment I met him because here I was hysterical. He had never met me before. He comes back to the back room. You know, most people would shy away from that and not even want to get into um, yeah. even wanting to touch you or even talk <laughs> to you because I was really crazy. Oh. And he came back and he goes, can I get you a drink? <laughs> He goes, I'd like to offer you some liquor because I think you need it, but all I can offer you is some pop. Yeah. So George just calmed me down, and that's how I met George Burke. And she's hated me favorite? ever since. No, I have not hated oh, you. Oh, you haven't hated her. I was. For what? Oh, she hated oh, her. Because I made her go with the And then later, like, a couple of months George. later, like, all that happened was the doorbell rang and the dog barked, and my sister and Trisha <laughs> backed with the get in the closet and closed the door. You're like, Get that dog out of here! In the closet, the three of them with the door pulled closed. It was a doorbell. A dog dog answered the doorbell. Who was it? John Wolf? No. This is the phone, actually.